Hello now. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Uh, and welcome. I think it's been a great uh, time so far. And so, how do you feel uh, being here? I said that a little bit in uh, my talk. I feel like, you know, do we really need a fair anymore during COVID because I didn't come for two years. And, but now I'm back at Salone, I feel so much energy and, I, you know, my talk was about interconnection and I see a lot of in human interconnection that leads to a better idea, like at least a, a future. And I'm very inspired by the fact that I'm here after two years of a break during the COVID. Um, it's great to be here. Um, so uh, we've heard today about interconnectedness and that being sort of a running motif theme for your work. And it's also a title of your, one of your works. In mm -hmm. um, you talk about it in tangible and intangible terms, you know, being interconnected among humans, humans and objects, and just being, you know, uh, communicative with each other. I think that's a major theme for your work. But uh, is, there a, is there a genesis for this? Do you, do you, uh, do you pinpoint? Do you, have a, do you have what? Do you have a genesis for it? Like where this concept of interconnectedness started from or where you started really associating with this theme to really make your work about it? You know, I, you know, I, I put together this presentation just for this, sh this show and I was just looking over back my steps and I realized that I always place myself into a new environment and I started to see the pattern. I was born in Japan and I step into New York City or in design, I study communication design and I step into product design and I always um, kind of try to respect the balance between emotion and function and I started to see the balance but that you can't you can't plan those dots and pattern only look back the past you starting to see the pattern and that's this diagram that I show you in the presentation it was very natural kind of float and from my life experience experience as a designer. Yeah, I, think, yeah I, I think even I see there's a little connection and uh, yeah. a progression towards those things. Yeah, something like that you can't really think about, oh, I'm going to interconnect my life. It doesn't work like that. You always look back. And, so it's always in retrospect. Yeah. Um, so uh, coming to you know the role of students in such an ecosystem. So if you were there at the Kitano uh, uh, mm -hmm. on Monday, uh, Tuesday, mm -hmm. yes, it was a Tuesday, where he was addressing young students, and you know, I mean, he's a he's a giant himself, Kitano. Uh, there was I, I felt there was a bit of a disconnect, you know, between generations probably. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you have to say about you know the role of students or the role of very young designers, fresh graduates in such an ecosystem, the energy that they bring and the hopes that they have uh, in, a, in a massive ecosystem such as Salon. What role do you think or students or uh, you know fresh graduates or young designers? What's the role for them? Yeah, or what, what, what do you think they bring to such a massive ecosystem such as Salon? Well, like you said, I think there's a, a big generation gap between the way of thinking or way of approaching between a teenage or 20s to, like I'm kind of in the, in the middle, like the people about me, like late 40s, 50s, 60s, there's a big gap in between generations, especially the ecosystem sustainability. We have very different way of, um, I would say like urgency, like a younger people, it's about their life, they're about their future. So their approach is more serious and they, they think deeper about that uh, topic versus all the people, they can, you know, they. They, they, they probably be gone by the time that the planet, you know, hopefully. So I have a lot to learn from younger generation too, because their, their, um, a way of thinking and, and there's a lot they can do 
to wake wake the older people up and this is a you know covid time is i think it's a wake up call for human to act on something hopefully it's not too late but you know i i i feel like i sometimes hesitate to make something new because that's adding another thing to this planet that's why we have to think about why we making how we make it where that goes very young people are very good at that so that's quite heartening to hear if i might say that's that's very that's inspiring to me to hear because uh, you know i mean we we are a little underrepresented despite uh, underrepresented despite being massive in number of young designers um so since you raised the question of sustainability probably using less uh, in a way Uh, I'm going to get a little critical here about the fair. So you you see the massive resource investment uh, that there uh, there is, and you of course sort of birth uh, the quintessential question: Do we need a fair and equal? Sure, there is human interaction and everything, but do you think that there is a middle point where you know it could be a little more sustainable? You could use a little less, do a little less. So many people have flown in, and that's that's a massive footprint. Yeah. I mean if you talk about sustain- sustainability the best thing to do is not to make it and not to buy anything <laughs> just keep whatever you have and keep using yes the fair it creates a lot of waste you know you they built a lot of stuff just for this week but I think there's a lot this is just the beginning of this era and I think we have we all have to change maybe this kind of approach the temporary booth and i, I see that salone did a fantastic job was like from fantasma and uh, uh, maria paola they did they were very conscious about sustainability and i i started to see that but everybody has to be conscious and there's a lot of approach maybe not too much about new thing anymore maybe about the process about maybe about not the quantity maybe the quality angle deep so maybe this is the place to show that but fair is always a good place to 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 come